Hey, with everyone going to distance learning, I thought it might be cool to share what we're doing and how we're doing it and how we're laying things out uh, for those using Google Classroom or however you're trying to do it, uh, might help give each other ideas. So I'm gonna share my Google Classroom with you. So here it is, uh, there we go. So you can see uh, for my school, we are kind of directed to give one classroom space to each section we teach. So I have all my third grade sections, my fourth grade sections, my fifth grade sections all on down. And if I click into one, um, it's like for third grade this week, I posted, you know, a meeting, like a message to my students there. And then for classwork, for the first week, we have a week one topic. We're doing some hand clapping games. I had to sort of do this where I have a video that explains what we're doing. So they're gonna watch the video. And then me and my son made hand clapping games for three different songs. I included links to the lyrics for kids to do at home. And then I'm asking them a Google question. I'm gonna hop over here for a second, just in case it shows Sorry about that. I paused it while I was going through because I didn't want to show student names or anything. Um, so this is the question that I asked. What, which of the games did you try playing and how did it go? And then I gave them a sample answer so they could have a model example. And that's just a way for them to kind of check in. We were told to start it easy and start it with just, you know, simple, simple types of feedback from students. Um, no more than 20 minutes to 30 minutes of work a week. So we tried to keep it really simple for the first week. Um, if I go back, I'm going to show you a fourth grade class where I did something a little bit more elaborate. So again, fourth grade class, I have my video here. And then under week one, we're doing similar to a bunch of other people posted, um, a build your own drum set. So do this first. I have a video that showed me how to do it. Then I have an image of the backbeat because that's what I'm gonna ask them to work on. We've been working on it in class. So I built a drum set in this video of, out of stuff from my house. I showed them a couple different examples. I showed them how I could play along to a song. Then I included a couple MP3s for them to play along with. But I told them in the video that they could also play along with any piece they want. Um, and then afterwards, I asked them some questions, you know, and one was, what did you use to build your drums? I asked them to answer that. Asked them what song did they play along with and how was it working for them? And how they felt they did. And then I added an optional assignment where they could show off their work. They could, you know, uh, you know, take a photo, add a video, add an audio recording, whatever they wanted to do to show off what they're doing. Give them a way to sort of stretch a little bit. And then for fifth grade, we're working on a lyrics project. So again, I have my welcome message of the week. And then under classwork, I have week one here. I have a read this where I have a video talking about the project and also a Google Doc, which outlines some of the um, steps and what the next couple of weeks are going to look like. And then for them, for this week, I just had a question where they have to tell me the song that they're going to use and what their topic or what they think needs to raise awareness is going to be. So I'm going to keep laying things out, I think, with this week one, week two, week three format to make it easy for students and parents to know what to do. Um, I'm including due dates on things for the Thursday of each week. So that will, you know, kind of give a nudge to parents if things aren't turned in by Friday before the next week goes. And other than that, that's, that's kind of what we're doing for distance learning. Um, with third grade, I plan on continuing to try to do songs and games with them as much as possible um, and try to get them to do things that aren't necessarily just on the 
tablet or on the computer or on the Chromebook, but actually doing things, making music. Same with fourth grade and fifth grade, ultimately, too. Like, even though they're going to be writing lyrics and doing karaoke, at least they're going to have to, like, think and sing along and plan some stuff out that way. Because um, I think the kids are going to get too much just sit at a computer type work. So I want to try to find ways to get them moving around, but also be mindful that they're getting a lot of work at home now with parents who may not be there to support them because um, a lot of parents are still working. Um, and even if they're at home, if you have multiple kids trying to manage two kids' class load while everything else is going on. So I'm trying to make things that are relatively easy. It may not be the most challenging stuff for my students, but... I want them to be successful and I want to keep myself sane too. <laughs> so that's my Google Classroom. Uh, what's yours look like? What's your plan for distance learning and how's that all going to work out for you? Please let me know. I'd love to see some other videos.